Uh, so this is sort of part two, and then I'll be done. So the, what we're talking about here ultimately is what I call a report card. Okay, and report card comes back to us in the form of biofeedback. And that becomes what is an assessment of really what we've learned. Okay, how to do what? Run well, optimal performance of your DNA, epigenetics, right? So that comes through knowledge, okay? So when you're mapping the terrain, you can map the terrain not only of your own learning through biofeedback, but you can measure it in others based on their genetic engineering. So it's painful, obviously, when you have a highly empathic component, which is in your inventory, which represents who you are. Because I remember one time when I was with a Kanaka Maholi, which is a spiritual elder, wisdom keepers, a female, uh, who worked in communications with the United States Air Force. And I'm always reminded when I'm with a pure Hawaiian who was A-plus positive bloodline, right? I'm A-B positive, which is white bear clan, of things that her and I acknowledge together, particularly when we walk the streets, sort of defending and protecting what, what the light creates, which is what love is in living spirit. And we make comments back and forth together of what we observe and what we call how bad the infection is, which essentially means there's parasites everywhere. And and when we measure what it means to be a parasite, what we're measuring really is the programming, the matter density programming. And as uh, as I said to her, because I'm not going to lie, I said, man, there's a lot of genetically fucked up people here, you know that? And she said, yeah, and that's true. And that's a result of what these Frankensteins do as a result of what people are exposed to that do what? Alter their software, which is known as reprogramming. The reprogramming your software by the things that they introduced into the environment that people are not aware of. And we measure that as a report card of the things that they do here. And we can also map the terrain and measure that on much larger levels, mapping the terrain of a planet ship, mapping the terrain of a galaxy, mapping the terrain of all the galaxies, mapping a supercluster, and then mapping a universe. Okay, how much light are we losing? What is the rate of speed at which we are losing light? How long does it take to collapse the universe? Right, remember when I covered the vampire chasing the artist? You know what a virus is in a computer, right? That's corrupted data, right? Okay, so if you're running on corrupted data, you're corrupted. Right? You're running corrupted software. So now you're experiencing something less than what was originally put in there to you to operate as an avatar or any whatever equipment you're running. You could be a thousand foot gorilla. Right? So that's the software programming. Okay? So that's the vehicle that's running around. A thousand foot gorilla on a bigger planet. Imagine that. Quantum consciousness, how much light do you have to create? What is you experience? What it is you created in a bidirectional mirror? Right? So we're terrain mappers, right? And so we're always measuring. We have a measuring stick in our back pocket everywhere we go, and it's automatic. So when you're always in restoration mode, you're always looking for what? An open mind. An open conduit break through the resistance and start pushing more light through there to restore the heart. Right? Because that's the most powerful electromagnetic transmitter. The neurons. The chemical messengers, right? It's keeping everything running, optimal performance. Right? So that's why, you know, as a child, you got to protect yourself through your heart. That's your light wheel. That's the most powerful vortex you got. Spinning all that data of everything that you become aware of, what was happening here. That allows you to protect yourself. Because then you become aware of everything that they're doing that's going to be thrown at you. Because you realize through the exponential function, the knowledge that they're gaining of the knowledge that they're going to use against us. That's called a rate of spread. Which is called the rate of spread of an infection. Of a virus. I call it a mind virus. 
The mind's corrupted. So the mind is corrupt. The universe is corrupted. How much of this universe is corrupted? Patty talks about that in a recent interview that she did on, uh, what was the name of it? Uh, Peace Meds with Patty Broussard on Rabbit 11 on Rumble. Patty covers some of this. Okay? Because at the end of the day, you're the experiencer, right? I'm the experiencer. So I know what it is I'm supposed to experience and what it is I'm not supposed to experience because I knew that at four years of age. So that means you're always in restoration mode, right? To return to the universe that you normally know that you experience with your consciousness. So that sort of means like wherever you're detecting a loss of light, you're detecting a loss of what you are that is in that light. Right? Right? So that's why I've always said the success and the rate of speed at which that success is being achieved here will be known when I experience it by mapping the terrain with my consciousness and how much resistance there still is. Against what? Restoring all the light, which means experiencing a state of peace, experiencing a state of love and joy, happiness, thriving, right? So now we're getting into the numbers game. The exponential function, right, of raising the state of awareness. The speed at which information is traveling through the morphogenetic field structure in which that state of awareness realizes it's being liberated and has a reason to feel happy and joyful. And begin to realize the things that were done here and why they were done here and the method by which they were harvesting electrons to drain light through matter density programming. So again, we're back to identity functions, huh? Knowing the difference between what you are and what you're not, that you don't want to give energy to experience because that's not what you are. You don't want to experience that, so you don't. So they used, as I did, I said in a previous video about using money that holds the minds captive. So when you believe that you need more money in order to maintain what it is you're aware of, which is yourself, which is energy you begin with, 